Think anything from viruses in the environments up to very small eukaryotes, things that we call protists or small plant-like cells, algae. All of that fall within the domain of microbes and uh, they're all around us. Most of them we can't see and uh, they're really critical for the functioning of the, the planet. Victoria Orphan wants to understand tiny microorganisms, also called microbes, and their big role in the environment. The microbes she studies aren't easy to collect. They live way down on the ocean floor. My research is mostly in ocean environments and in particular deep ocean environments in places where methane is uh, leaking to the seabed. And one of the things we've been really fascinated about uh, studying is the role that microorganisms play in uh, oxidizing that methane in ocean sediments before it gets into the water column and, and atmosphere. The microbes that Orphan studies gobble up methane, which is a greenhouse gas. Methane gets trapped at the bottom of the ocean and turns into something called methane hydrate, which is a material similar to ice. The problem is that one day, these methane hydrates could start to dissolve because of rising ocean temperatures and could rise to the surface and up through to the atmosphere, helping to make the planet even warmer. Those methane hydrates, just like an ice cube, um, if it warms, they can melt and become destabilized and release that methane. In the ocean itself, uh, as far as we know, methane is not so much of a problem, but the problem um, intensifies once that methane is released into the atmosphere. The microbes work to break down some of the methane hydrates before the methane reaches the surface. It's a complicated process. And they do this really amazing chemistry by creating a symbiosis between two microorganisms that takes sulfate out of seawater and uses it to oxidize methane in the sediments. So they use that methane as energy with sulfate, which is a salt in seawater. And this is a really hard chemistry problem that they've figured out how to, how to crack. So they share chemicals between each other. And we've been trying to study them directly in the deep sea sediment. So going down a mile or more into the ocean using human operated vehicles or robotically operated vehicles to collect samples and try to understand how they're influencing the chemistry, how much methane is coming out, how these organisms are actually doing this amazing feat. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.